Ethiopia's long-term vision is becoming a country where democratic rule, good governance and social justice prevailed upon the free will of its people. The growth and transformation plan known as GTP was designed to achieve this long-term vision and to sustain the rapid economic growth that have been registered over the past years. Since 1991, Ethiopia has been following an agricultural-led industrialization policy. However, after GTP is implemented two years ago, the industry sector is expected to take over the agricultural sector in leading the economy. This does not mean that the contribution of agricultural sector for the country's economy will be stopped. Rather, the contribution of industry will increase very fast. But until then, agriculture will continue playing the leading role. Over the past 10 years, Ethiopia has been registering remarkable achievement in the agriculture sector. Further strengthening this impressive growth was one of the major targets set in the GDP. The other target was doubling agricultural productivity. Uh, in the last two years, uh, as far as uh, increase in productivity and production is concerned, uh, I can say we have achieved what we have uh, already planned. Uh, in 2003 Ethiopian cal uh, calendar, uh, our plan was to uh, produce uh, 199 million quintals uh, of uh, cereal, pearls and oil seeds. Uh, the actual performance was 203 million uh, quintals of cereals, uh, pearls and uh, oil seeds. Uh, I mean, in, in the same token, in 2004, uh, our plan was uh, uh, to produce uh, 208 million quintal of uh, these main uh, uh, food crops, and the achievement was uh, 218 million quintals. In terms of productivity, uh, we had a plan. Uh, to, to, to bring the 17 quintal per hectare average productivity level to uh, 18 quintal per hectare in 2004. We have already achieved this, this, this target. So, Sitari Sindi, so Sitari Nuyarra, Kasoktu Sitari Rusti, and Dunikar, Bamas Marni Takar. I have sown with all three hectares of land one of which was sowed using what's called line sowing. I harvested 80 quintals from this one, that 50 quintals each from the two hectares on which I sowed traditionally. Taking into account the uh, agricultural GDP plan that, that we have, in 2003, the plan was uh, to, um, uh, to achieve 9% agricultural GDP uh, grows in, in, in the country. I mean, uh, the plan was 8.5 percent agricultural uh, GDP uh, grows, but the performance was 9 uh, percent agricultural uh, GDP grows. Uh, in 2004, uh, the plan was 8.5 percent, and the achievement was the same. We have achieved 8.5 percent agricultural GDP uh, grows. To increase soil fertility and reduce land degradation, the country has implemented sustainable land management program in six regional states. Watershed management is one of the approaches used under this program. What we uh, did in the last two years was we tried to pursue the, the farmers uh, so that they can uh, 
engage themselves uh, in undertaking different soil and water conservation activities in their locality because because of uh, a repeated uh, agricultural activity in uh, in those areas in many parts of the country the natural resource depletion is significant unless we address this problem the sustainability the sustainability of their agricultural production and productivity increase will be uh, uh, in in question so uh, we try to mobilize the farmers uh, uh, so that they can engage in a massive wood, soil and water conservation activities in their lo 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 locality. Our plan was to achieve uh, 2 million hectares of land uh, by undertaking different soil and water conservation activities, physical structure, uh, structure uh, uh, construction in, in this uh, uh, in this two million hectare of land, the achievement was 3.5 million hectare. So uh, we have uh, performed more than what we have already uh, planned. Uh, we our plan was to delineate uh, nearly. Uh, 1.2 uh, million hectare of land uh, so that we can keep from the animal and uh, human intervention uh, our performance was uh, this is what we call area closure uh, once you uh, close an area and avoid any contact from uh, intervention from an animal and uh, a human being it will regenerate by itself it will uh, only require some some uh, support apart from closing uh, the area. So our achievement was 1.34 uh, million hectares. So in this regard, we have also achieved uh, more than what, what we have already planned. While giving due attention to appropriate use of rainwater, the country has been working to use its huge water resources by expanding irrigation scheme. The irrigation scheme was designed to double agricultural productivity and to accumulate experience in the area. In this regard, encouraging result was achieved. There are about 15 springs in this area. We direct all these springs together to one point. Farmers are making use of the water from the pond to irrigate their respective farmland. They grow apple and other vegetables during the dry season. In terms of uh, irrigation activity, uh, our, our uh, uh, premises is to expand our uh, uh, irrigation activity based on the watershed development that we are uh, undertaking because undertaking different watershed uh, development activities would definitely develop the underground and surface water potential which will uh, give uh, and add potential for irrigation uh, expansion and scaling up of irrigation small scale irrigation activities so our plan was uh, to uh, develop uh, 1.1 uh, 1 million hectare of uh, irrigation land and the achievement uh, was 1.4 million hectare of land. Uh, when it comes to the potential, I think we have to uh, do more so that we can utilize uh, and exhaust our small scale irrigation and uh, add to the, sustain the sustainability of the agricultural development that we are uh, uh, exhibiting in this in this country so far one of the major challenges that agriculture sector faced over the past two years of gtp period is the problem of climate change which is caused by global warming while there was recurrent drought in the pastoral areas of ethiopia in bulk growing areas the areas that get two seasons of rain per year there was shortage of rain of course there are some endeavors to solve the problem. The other big challenge is the problem of implementation capacity.
implementation capacity cannot be built within within one day. Uh, it cannot be uh, also built apart from uh, uh, actual uh, activities. Uh, you will build capacity and uh, embark on implementing your plan. Then through the implementation of your plan, you will develop your implementing capacity. So we are uh, 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 trying to uh, uh, elevate this, this problem uh, by uh, training uh, our uh, staff, by training the farmers, uh, by we are trying to uh, build the skill of the farmers so that they can use uh, uh, different technologies and better agronomic uh, practices. Uh, we are trying to build the capacity, the skill of our experts so that they will be able to uh, support uh, other experts and development agents and even the farmers. And we are trying to build the capacity of the development agents so that they will be able to support the farmers. Health sector is another important area where Ethiopia has been registering remarkable achievements over the past years. To further strengthen these achievements, the health sector development program 4 was designed in line with the overall directions of the government for the GTP period. Uh, in the health sector as a subset of uh, uh, the growth and transformation plan, we have a five-year strategy which we call Health Sector Development Program. It's uh, a five-year rolling plan. Now it is in its fourth phase. So usually in the health sector it is referred as HSDP4 or Health Sector Development Program 4. And in HSDP4 we have uh, uh, set a target uh, which is in line with uh, the achievement of uh, Millennium Development Goals. As you know, 2015 is uh, the end line for the MDG targets. So there are uh, three directly health-related uh, MDG goals. These are MDG4, which uh, aims to reduce under-5 mortality by two-thirds. The second is MDG-5, which uh, targets to reduce maternal mortality by uh, three-fourths or 75%. And the sixth is the uh, uh, control of uh, communicable diseases, particularly HIV, TB, and malaria. And in this target, uh, the, the, the plan is to reverse the, uh, the trend and reduce the prevalence uh, significantly. Over the past two decades, notable results have been achieved in expanding and constructing health facilities and improving the quality of health service provision. This process indicator is included in the Growth and Transformation Plan for more success. The government has already set an ambitious target of uh, constructing, equipping and staffing health centers with uh, 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 you know, one health center for 25,000 people, uh, one health post for 5,000 people and one rural hospital for 100,000 uh, people and one uh, general hospital for uh, one million people and one referral uh, hospital for five million people. So we, we have uh, also set a target of uh, you know, constructing, equipping and rehabilitating health facilities, training health professionals and availing medical equipments to these facilities. To achieve these objectives, the Ministry of Health has designed two major strategies in line with the overall directions of the government. 
Prioritizing health promotion and disease prevention is one of the strategies. The ministry is working to improve the health of mothers, children and adults by raising their awareness, engaging them in the disease prevention and health promotion activities. Health extension program is one of the biggest vehicles to achieve this goal. We have already uh, trained and deployed 38,000 uh, health extension workers all over the country, uh, two per cabale, uh, two per village. Uh, so the main task of these health extension workers is to uh, continuously engage the community, mobilize the community, improve the participation of the community in health pro promotion and disease prevention activities. So uh, through this program, we also provide uh, some basic services to the public uh, in addition to the health promotion and disease prevention activities. For instance, our health extension workers provide uh, family planning services. Uh, they provide uh, immunization services for children. They, they, they you know, identify and treat malaria. Uh, they can uh, treat pneumonia in children, they can treat diarrhea in children. So some basic uh, curative services are also included through this program. extension <laughs> We used to hear about health extension workers from television. It was after a health extension worker has been assigned to this area that we were able to learn a lot. The extension worker in this area has done numerous things. She has helped us in building latrines, taught us about hygiene and other communicable diseases. Though she has done a lot, the harmful practices in our community are not yet a history. She prepares tea occasions where we discuss numerous issues. Our culture makes life hard for women, but things are improving. When I have my woman with a baby, I have never let her do hard work. I have learned the hardship that women face and I want to take the lead to do exemplary work in this regard, even if my parents won't approve it. We could say that uh, we have uh, achieved, you know, tremendously in some areas. Uh, for instance, uh, the achievement towards MDG4, uh, which is, you know, the reduction of under five mortality by two thirds, you know, uh, from its baseline in 1990 uh, to achieve the two third reduction in 2015. Ethiopia has. Uh, achieved unprecedented result, a dramatic reduction in under-5 mortality. For instance, in 1990, the under-5 mortality in Ethiopia was uh, 204 per thousand life births, meaning, you know, uh, one out of uh, five children uh, used to die before celebrating their uh, fifth birthday. This figure has now gone down to 77 per thousand. Ethiopia and India are two of the country's hardest hit by child mortality, but they are not shying away from the challenge that that poses. In fact, as you heard from the ministers, the Ethiopian and Indian governments are putting this problem front and center, not just at home, but on the global stage. India and Ethiopia are exemplars of countries stepping up and taking responsibility. And I thank them for their leadership and their partnership. In terms of uh, improving maternal health, Ethiopia has also achieved uh, a very good result in increasing access to modern contraceptives. 
uh, for instance in 2000 uh, the uh, percentage of uh, married women who were using uh, modern contraceptive method was only six percent and now this figure has gone up to 29 percent in 2011 and we expect it to be around 35 percent uh, by end of this year 2012. So this is also uh, truly remarkable. No country on earth has achieved uh, a three uh, percent contraceptive prevalence rate increase per year. So Ethiopia, what Ethiopia achieved over the last five six years was is really truly uh, remarkable. So this is also I mean because of the health extension program and the health development army that uh, we are trying to set up across the country. زیم تعهد یا وی بیت سمت آنی اگر کلوس نوسر. عون لج بیان سعون سوست همت متبات علبه تو لت همت متبات علبه تی باله. I came here to use family planning service. I believe that every mother has to give birth at least with three years interval. She has to feed breast at least for three years. Those children who are born one after the other in a year or two years cannot grow properly. This has also an impact on the academic achievement. Today, many women are using contraceptives even for three to five years. They have also understood the importance of small family size and give birth in long interval. In terms of uh, uh, the outcome of maternal mortality, a reduction of maternal mortality, uh, uh, we have achieved some progress, but not to the level that uh, we expected or we want to, to achieve it. Uh, in 1990, maternal mortality was uh, 1,068 per uh, 100,000 life births. This figure uh, is around 676 per 100,000 in uh, 2011. There is progress, there is some reduction, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, good enough uh, to put Ethiopia on track to achieve MDG5. So for the next three years, we have to emphasize on you know, improving maternities. Halting and reversing the spread of major communicable diseases such as HIV and AIDS, TB and malaria are some of the priority areas put in the Health Sector Development Program and GTP. In this area, encouraging results have been achieved. Ethiopia has managed to reduce uh, morbidity and mortality from malaria by 70%. This is also the MDG targets have been achieved before MDG 2015. The TB control is also in, in a very good shape. The MDG target is to have a case detection rate of 70%. Ethiopia has already achieved a case detection rate of 80%. So uh, I think things are uh, uh, well in progress. One of the, our challenges is to uh, improve uh, uh, health, you know, delivery in health facilities. You know, women giving birth in, in health facilities, because uh, you know, only 20% of uh, pregnant women in Ethiopia are giving birth in health facilities. 80% of them are delivering at home. And uh, since you know every pregnancy has to be considered as you know high risk, women are advised to deliver in health facilities. But for various reasons, you know cultural reasons, uh, you know transportation issues, women empowerment issues, financial issues, women 
continue to prefer to deliver in health uh, at home. So this is one of our biggest challenges. So we have to work with, uh, with the community through the health extension program as well as uh, through the health development army to change the attitude of women, uh, to change the attitude of religious leaders, uh, and to make sure that you know they appreciate the importance of uh, delivering in uh, health facilities. The other area in which Ethiopia has registered remarkable achievements over the past two years of GTP period is in the education sector. To begin with, uh, one of the major targets we have kept in this uh, GTP five years program was uh, to achieve a teachers development program uh, that could really help to transform our universities. Uh, in the target, actually, we kept uh, to reach by the end of 2007 of the Ethiopian calendar to have 23,000 uh, university professors or uh, lecturers anyhow. Uh, and this we have kept a mix of uh, 0, 075, 25. That means by the end of 2007, if possible, uh, that we need not to have any BSc as a university instructor. They can be there as a laboratory attendants or uh, technicians and what have you, but they're no more uh, like uh, lecturers. And the plan is to have 75% of them to be master's holders and 25% PhDs or either specialties or sub subspecialties. Now we are having a mix of 32% BSc holders, 58% master's holders now, and nearly 10% of PhD, till the last academic year I mean. And we are left with the three, three years. And we are planning to transform within these three years this 31% uh, to that of 58%, and from 58% some part to that 10%. So the, from the capacity that exists in the country and the capacity that we are utilizing from abroad, we are more or less confident that 75% will be achieved. Increasing the number of students who are entering higher education is the other area where good result is achieved over the past two years of GTP period in education sector. Student enrollment target was also set in the GTP. That is uh, 467,000 students uh, will be enrolled by the end of uh, 2007 of the, our calendar. Now we are already at 270,000 by the end of uh, 2004. And uh, the new enrollment will normally increase more than this. In order to increase the quality of education in higher education, several actions have been done over the past two GTP years. Adjusting teacher-student ratio is one of the strategies set to achieve this goal. Teacher-to-student ratio is one of the targets. Now, to just make it very much clear in, the, in this ratio, uh, nationally we have said to have 1 to 20 ratio. This is a target. But this is not common for everyone. Maybe in engineering it may be 1 to 15, or in medicine it may be like that. But for the social science it may be 1 to 25 or 1 to 30 even. And for agriculture and all, it can only be to 125, 120, something like that. But on average, 1 is to 20. Similarly, to ensure the quality of education and its relevance, there is a plan to build the performance and implementation capacity of technology institutes through a strong leadership of scientific directors. Uh, another target was to have uh, 10 technology institutes. We have kept that target as well. And now, when we are saying 10 technology institutes, we are talking about the institutes which are supposed to be led by the foreign and experienced deans. 
or anyway, scientific directors we say. For seven of them we have it already and they are in place and they are running it and uh, anyway we have to follow how, how they are performing. For the other three, that means for Arbamint, the Redawa and the Kombolcha, we are still looking for the three. So the 70% has already been achieved and uh, that, means that is targeted for the to the end of the GTP. Anyway, I think maybe this year or next year this also will fulfill and that will 100% achievement will be there. Thank you.